new software tool has come out within the last few days that warrants an additional lecture for this particular course uh, because it's kind of blown the doors wide open on how exactly um, merging models works. Essentially you can now merge any model and it'll be the simplest process in the world and you can actually I'll show you at the end and I'll give you access to resource where uh, it's literally like you update a few lines of code and you don't even need to know anything at all what you're doing and you can pick any two models and as long as they're compatible with each other you can merge them together and so really cool really straightforward and so the tool overall is called merge kit and the very first thing that I should launch into with regards towards merge kit uh, is that it doesn't have like an MIT or an Apache license it has a GPL 3.0 license so like a general a GPL GP I'm not a lawyer, so don't like with regards towards licensing. I'll go into the generalities of it, but if you are uh, in a corporation using it for corporate use, the very first thing that you want to do is consult with your legal team over this. Uh, it does have a LGP, LGPL 3.0 license, which is more restrictive overall than like an MIT license. Not significantly. There's only there's a few modifications. To the license, but if you dig into like the the software very specifically, like they released it under an MIT license and then changed it to the more restrictive license. So I don't want to say it, it's like an MIT license because there are additional restrictions that you do want to keep in mind, especially if you're modifying the code. That's where the additional restrictions come in if you're making any sort of modifications to it, uh, or if you're distributing the, the uh, this for any reasons. Um, but uh, it is an open source license uh, as well, so then I should mention that, that as well. But so diving into uh, what we're looking at here, very specifically with Merge Kit, um, very simplistically, it, it uh, at an, in a nutshell, it allows you to take essentially like a lots of uh, local models, right? So Llama, the Mistral series, GPT Neo X, Stable LM, a whole bunch more, uh, and it allows you to merge them and then it, GPU or CPU execution. So you can merge these models and then and do that actual merge like execute everything that you need for the merge and the like um, different uh, via different methods for the merge uh, on CPU and uh, and I should star that right so like there are uh, it's it doesn't it's not going to allow you to do like every single method of uh, merge method via CPU but it allows for CPU merges and we'll kind of dive a little bit deeper into that but so uh, as far as their code, it's really straight. Their installation process is very straightforward. It's just uh, you just uh, clone the GitHub repository uh, and then pick your configurations uh, and then uh, go from there. Within that, they so rather than look at what that looks like in the GitHub repository, they also have a. Um, I want to show this one first, which is the um, merge kit and their, their actual code of what they're looking at and what you're looking at there from on the GitHub and how you would actually execute this. And then so it's very straightforward, right? And so like up front and just noting it that they do have it connected to a high RAM uh, system. And so like uh, it's not a free system like uh, the runtime. Uh, but so you can change to CPU um, and then essentially from there what we go through is uh, the very first thing that you do is you pick the models um, and then so it, it says it here model merging requires a lot of RAM with a free Google Colab account you should be able to run it using a T4 GPU so they're recommending that you connect it specifically to your GPU uh, if you're using uh, the free version of Google Colab um, and then so that would be step number one that you would want to do is enable that uh, I can't at the moment as of like uh, this right now filming this video because um, they, th they throttle off and on um, the GPU access for free Google Colab. Uh, and then, but so going through the model itself, we have uh, essentially you pick the models that you want to merge. So in this instance, they have two models that they picked out, the Mistral 7B as well as the Neural Hermes 7B, which is a fine tune of the Mistral model. But uh, so it's merging two Mistral models, but two different versions of the Mistral. Um, and then you pick the base model, so the Mistral model, uh, and then density and weight. So density is like uh, the, the, uh, 
Met, so depending on the method that you want to do, so this first one is is ties merging, right? So it's it's uh, essentially just doing and and like doing some pruning. Uh, so if you're doing the density of these two seven billion parameter models of uh, density of 0.5, the resulting model's not going to be uh, like a 14 billion parameter model. It's going to be around like eight billion parameters combining the two because it's going to do like the density of 0.5 plus a little bit more uh, is essentially what you're looking at. So you get like 8.1 billion parameters out of merging these two seven billion parameter models with this method and then that changes depending on these different methods that you you choose and you utilize which is why they have the different methods so that's why they have the ties merging the slurp pass through etc and then these different methods give you different outputs so just highlighting what again what ties merging is for that it gives you a, like an 8.1 billion parameter model Floating 16, uh, float 16. So you can and you can adjust and, and change these parameter types. So float 16 is uh, like automatic quantization. Quote float 32, float 16, float 8. Uh, you generally don't want to go below 8. Um, but so they're defaulting it to 16. Uh, if you want to increase performance, then you would go. You would increase it to 32. If you want to increase um, the uh, uh, performance of the model, if you want to increase performance of your like your local system or whatever you're training it on, like the the performance of the notebook, like decrease the amount of RAM that's used, then you can decrease to float eight, um, and then. Going down to the next method down that they have, it's just the same exact thing, right? So you wouldn't run all of these, just so you know, like you run one of these depending on, on which method that you want to choose, but they're giving you the ways to run all of the different methods. And then it's, uh, the difference is, is with this slurp method is, is that you get to adjust more of the parameters. So you get to put in here, it's a self-attention mechanism, and you can adjust the values of the self-attention mechanism via the slurp. So if you want to get more customizable, like this first method is is just kind of like a sandwich you know quick and dirty like literally just two two models together boom this is getting you more in depth and then as you go through the different methods it's kind of depending on the different types of tweaks that you want to make that's the different methods that you get and they get more more in depth right like a pass through method it's got actually like multiple um lines that you have to go through and actually like multiple cells um, like multiple multiple cells uh, by the time that you get down to pass the pass through method uh, and then so it's just a matter of like uh, this is your quickest method this is your like uh, you want to tweak a little bit and then this is like you want to tweak everything um, it's kind of generally how, how it's laid out and structured here uh, and then within this you can tweak different the different parameters of the merge like the uh, different uh, attention mechanisms the different tokenizers the different decoders all of the mechanisms that go into the like and, and the uh, individual adjustable traits within this this merge kit library essentially gives it all in one uh, mini library which is why essentially this kind of just blows the doors open on all of this right because it's no longer going through and on that like individual configurations and 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 the trial and error it's um and then so the last thing and last resource to show you here is real quick just uh, this collab notebook which is the lazy merge kit uh and then so this makes it uh, e even simpler and and so uh, essentially there's no um nuance anymore with regards towards uh, like merging models like if you if your goal is to merge models at this point then you can do it until your heart's content like this this uh load up this particular notebook and then in this particular notebook you either depending on the um uh, what you want to do you can either you can run it in cpu or gpu uh, and then see so you have cpu high ram and gpu um, and then so uh, cpu is free a hundred million percent free high ram is part of the paid google collab pro uh, and then gpu you can run is like you could run it for like an hour or two at a time up to like three hours or so um, and then you pick up your models uh, and then like literally just whatever models that you want to, to, to run. Uh, and then you can right from here, just upload your model directly to Hugging Face as soon as it's done, right? So it, it doesn't get any, any easier and more simplistic than this. So it's, uh, you want to create like um, 15 llamas, there you go. Like you just, there you go, you know, just merge them together, easy merge kit. Um, and then now all of a sudden you, you're a merging expert on hugging face uh, and 
uh, like uh, there's again it's it just as simple as this at this point so um, and there's not a lot more nuance to it than this and I'll give you the the updates to these resources uh, in the description for this lecture and then if anything else comes with regards towards a mixture of experts or uh, like uh, training them overall or anything with regards towards it overall I'll make sure to update this course with uh, additional content and so I'll see you look forward to seeing you in future lectures and future courses thank you very much